Right now, the distances between each pair of white keys might seem the same for you, but it's not true. Those distances, in terms of pitch, are not the same. My name is Olga, your online music teacher. If you want to learn music from zero, help your child learn, or you are a music teacher yourself, this channel is the right place for you. Basic to advanced topics covered, fresh content every week, so if you are new, consider subscribing. Just like everything else in the world, the distance between notes in music gets measured. The smallest distance in music is a half step. A half step is the distance between two notes that are closest in pitch to each other. By the way, you are watching the seventh lesson of this music theory crash course, where you will learn about two core intervals in music and accidentals. So even though C and D look like two adjacent keys, they actually do not form a half step. There is one black key between them. And if I play C, that black key, and D, their pitches would sound evenly higher and higher. Black keys separate D and E, F and G, G and A, and A and B. There is no black key between E and F and B and C. Those distances or intervals are half steps. So a half step could be an interval between two white keys or between white and black keys. Two half steps form a whole steps. Therefore, the distance from C to D is a whole step. If you look at how the white keys are written on the staff, it is not clear which pair forms a half step and which one forms a whole step. Make sure you visualize keyboard throughout this whole music journey. Download the keyboard picture to print it out and clip it wherever you study. As always, there are also lecture notes and homework. Let's practice to recognize half steps and whole steps on the keyboard. Whole step. Half step. Half step. Half step. whole step, a whole step. We name black keys in correspondence to white keys. As I mentioned before, there are only seven note names in music. If you raise F by a half step, you get F sharp. If you lower G by a half step, you get G flat. And this turns out to be the same black key. Just like most of you have two names, first and last, each note has two names as well. D, D sharp, E, E flat, raise A, A sharp, lower B, B flat. F sharp and G flat is an example of enharmonic notes. Enharmonic notes are those whose pitch is the same, but they are written differently, thus have different names. There are multiple reasons why we have more than one option, but you will have to understand some more topics to be able to explain all of them. The one that is easy to understand is the next one. If a part of the melody is in ascending order, meaning it goes up or to the right, then those black keys will be sharps. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. If the melody is in descending order, those black keys are going to be flats. C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, 
E flat, D, D flat, C. Let's sum up with sharps and flats. A sharp means to play a note a half a step higher and a flat means to play a note a half a step lower. Sharps or flats are not necessarily black keys. Find B. Now raise it a half step. Meaning now it's B sharp. It turns out to be a white key. Now find F and lower it by a half step. F flat is also a white key. Accidentals extend until the end of a measure. After a bar line, the effect of an accidental is vanished. Let's say you had D sharp. All the Ds in this measure will be raised a half step. After a bar line, D sharp is cancelled by the default. If you want to keep D sharp, you have to specify it again in a new measure. If you need to cancel the sign before the bar line, you will need a natural sign. A natural sign means to play a note without any sharps or flats. If there were a sharp in a particular measure before, a natural sign would cancel this sharp. It is the same with flats. Sometimes you will be asked to raise a key or lower a key. Now we know a sharp raises a key and a flat lowers it. But what if you are asked to lower a sharp key or higher a flatted key? Look closely at the keyboard. To lower A sharp, I use natural sign. A natural. See what a natural sign does to a sharp? It lowers it. To raise E flat, you also use a natural sign, but this time a natural sign will higher it. E flat, E. Again, a natural sign lowers a sharp key or raises a flatted key by a half step. Those were common accidentals, but there are also uncommon ones like double flat or double sharp. Don't make a huge effort to memorize them if you are just starting out. But so that you know, a double sharp raises a key by two half steps or a whole step if you wish. F. F sharp, F double sharp. A double flat lowers a key by two half steps or a whole step. B, B flat, B double flat. I'm assuming most of us are pianists, and as pianists, we think by half steps as the smallest distance or half tones. Although some other instruments are able to play by quarter tones, like certain kinds of trumpet, a quarter tone clarinet, or a quarter tone piano, the rarest accidentals serve for those instruments specifically. Those accidentals are half sharp, sharp and a half, half flat, flat and a half. Wikipedia suggests a quarter tone scale to get an idea of how those rare accidentals can be used. Let's listen to it. Good news, those you will probably never see in your life. But that was an interesting fact to know. If you were already overwhelmed with sharps and flats, so that you know you are not in the worst place. Download lecture notes and homework through the link in the video description below. Read through them, do your homework, and you are ready for the next lesson that is coming up in a week with a long promised overview. If you like this video, please give it a like, don't forget to share it with your friends who can benefit from that again, subscribe and hit the bell sign for weekly notifications, 
Otherwise, YouTube is not doing a very good job of letting you know where the next video is up. Your online music teacher is not simply a YouTube channel, but the community where your opinion matters. If you ask me, I might make the next video on the topic of your choice. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson right here.